Hey beautiful faces, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I will be showing you how I make my 360 wig using only one bundle. So if you would like to see how I make my wig, then you already know what to do, beautiful face. Keep on watching. So for this tutorial, you know you would need needles. And in my case, I have mine pre-threaded. You would need some clamps. You will also need a dome head. And you also need a comfortable place to make your wig. I have my wig stand sitting on top of my salon chair as well as my trash can. And of course, you will need a dome cap. And also, the hair that I will be featuring in this video will be from Hot Beauty Hair. And I will be using one bundle and a 360 frontal. So now that I have my dome cap on my dome head, I am going to secure it in place with some T-pins. And now I'm just going to fit my 360 frontal onto the dome head. You want to make sure that it's set properly. You want to make sure that it's straight. And when placing your 360 on your dome head and your cap, you want to make sure that you pull the front of your 360 right there past your dome cap it's just to give it a better fit so you don't have to worry about your wig being too little or too small once you are done constructing your wig unit and as you can see here i'm doing the same i'm putting down the 360 past the cap so now i'm just going to um braid my 360 frontal around um to try to get the hair out of my way and y'all please it's excuse the blind roots on this honey i was trying to bleach my knots got a phone call got distracted and honey yes but that's a quick fix and if you would like to see a video how to um, fix blonde roots then just comment below and i will do that video for you so anyway i'm going to go ahead and um sew the 360 uh cap down to my dome cap round the top of it so it can stay in place while i am sewing my bundles. Mm -hmm. So here I'm going to start with the bundle. I'm going to measure it out and you want to make sure that you do not sew on um, the 360 at all. You want to sew right above it. And so I'm just going to stick my um, needle through the lace, the cap, as well as through the weft. To give it a secure and more tight fit and i will be taking my needle and placing it up under my weft through the cap and the lace and while you're doing so you kind of want to like hold your thread up and take your needle on top of it that you will get a secure knot without having to wrap the thread around your needle doing it this way just save you more time um, versus um, taking your needle through, wrapping around your needle twice, which is called the blanket stitch. And doing it this way is still the blanket stitch, you're just not wrapping it around. And it just saves you time. So I'm just gonna sew, continue to sew my um, bundles on until I get all the way to the top. And as you can see, my dome cap was a little too big, so I had to kind of create one. And that's what you see up there on my dome cap, the stitching. So yeah, I'm gonna sew this all the way over until I get to the end. And now I'm just going to move that stick pin out the way so I can uh, continue to sew all the way to the end of the 360 frontal. I will not be cutting my wefts until I get to the top. I will be doing the fold over method. And doing the fold over method, it just kind of helps you to, uh, it kind of helps per to prevent shedding. <music> So I'm just going to fold it over and just take it all the way over to the other side of the wig, right past the first piece of the weft that we sewn. And I'm just going to use my T-pins to 
um, hold it in place. It just helps you to get um, better control of your wealth as well as keeping it straight or how at whatever angle you're trying to um, put your um, wealth at. It just will help. So try to find some stick pins, some sewing pins, any kind of pins, honey. Anything that's going to stick it, just do it. Because, honey, making a wig can be tedious and um, can be frustrating at times, too. So just cut my thread, tie it in three knots, and cut it off, and just throw it all over. And that's what you want to do. Your goal is just to finish this wig and make it to the top. So I'm just going to continue with the fold over method and continue to sew um, all the way up until I get to the top of my 360 frontal. And you also want to make sure that you keep a finger space in between your wefts. Um, your space may be a little bit smaller than mine's um, because I do have them big fat hands. So yeah, try to keep a finger space and... Um, yeah so guys i only used uh one bundle for this um wig unit here and the unit turned out very well and uh full look very natural and yeah one bundle and i still had um a piece of weft left this particular bundles came with a 360 plucked onto and two bundles um you can fit two bundles on this cap by you know you can undouble your wefts or you can uh, make your wefts a little bit closer um, than a finger space, but um, you know it's getting it's getting kind of hot outside. You know the weather is changing, the season has changed. It is now spring, so you know I didn't want to have all that hair. So this is a one bundle deal here, and it's very lightweight. I mean, it feel like you have nothing on your head with this one bundle. I have never ever made a wig unit with one bundle. I am very satisfied with the outcome of making this wig unit so as you can see i'm just going to continue to sew my way all the way up to the top In no particular way you know i didn't curve my wells i just sewed it honey until i got all the way up at the top and you want to make sure you're pulling your thread kind of tight to ensure that your um to ensure that it stays you know in between washing and combing and brushing the um your wig unit because the thread can uh, become loose when um over time I'm just going to go ahead and cut my weft because I'm getting closer to the top of my wig unit and the reason I cut my weft is because I want it I do not want it to be bulky right there you know doing the flip over method here um it can be a little bit bulky and I didn't want to take that chance so I cut my weft so it's two pieces at the top here this piece here and the next piece that I cut so I cut my weft a total of two times when I got to the top and guys I am still on the first bundle and that is the great thing about using 360s you don't have to use as many bundles as you would if you had a frontal or a closure <laughs> so far and I need one more little piece off of that and <laughs> that is it one bundle one bundle and this is their Peruvian body wave I believe it is I don't know I've had the hair for a while 
so I can't remember which origin they are calling this hair but I do know it's a body wave texture and that is the last weft and I'm just going to sew that right on across and we are done Yes, honey, them bleach brutes, baby. Uh uh, it's not where it's at. <laughs> Just a little tip when you're uh, bleaching your knots, don't get distracted. <laughs> So as you can see, I have made it to the top. I reached my goal. I am done. And this is the unit all complete with one bundle, guys. One bundle. And I have in the inches, my 360 front is a 14 inch and the hair bundles are 18 inches. And so beautiful faces, this is all the hair that I have left. I use exactly one bundle and this is the other bundle that came with this 360 frontal. So now what's next to do, we're going to cut all the SX cap we have that's up under the lace on the 360 frontal. You're going to take this cap, turn it inside out and you're just going to cut all of the black part, which is the dome cap from off of it because you don't need it anymore however i need you to be very careful when you're doing this you do not want to cut the thread that's attaching to the cap right on top of the thread so you don't cut the thread and take a chance of your um 360 coming apart And when you're done, it should look something like this. And this is the wig all complete. Only thing left now is to cut the lace off in front of the wig unit. And this is just me playing around with with the wig, you know, putting it up just to show you how it looks with one bundle. Here it is with some of the hair up in the front. Here it is with two buns, one in the top, one in the back. And it still looks very full. And I am a girl that loves full hair, but like I said, it's hot and you don't need all the hair and here's the hair up in all its glory with one top bun so beautiful face we have made it we have constructed our wig unit this is how i construct my 360 frontal using only one bundle i hope you was able to take something from this video and again the hair that i'm using in this video is from hot beauty hair products so beautiful face until next time until the next video Bye-bye.